The recommended way to run ANSYS or to start ANSYS is through the Mechanical APDL product launcher. So if I click on the start menu and find ANSYS directory, and in this directory find Mechanical APDL product launcher, and click, ANSYS will be checking the licenses available on my computer, and a window like this will show up. So the first thing I want to do is to select a license. I select the research one. And on top, I have this simulation environment, which has three options for me. ANSYS, ANSYS batch, and ls solver. ANSYS is the typical uh, simulation environment, which brings up a window where I can click on menus and uh, stuff to run my simulation. ANSYS batch is the option that will run a simulation in the background, which I will explain in a little bit. And ANSYS ls is basically a uh, environment in which ANSYS runs a transient problem in an explicit method. If I go to ANSYS, I see that there is a working directory and a job name. Working directory is basically a folder on my computer where I will want to save the results. If I click on browse, I can find any directory that I want and uh, click OK to save my results there. And job name is the name of the files that I want ANSYS to use uh, to save the files. I can actually say training or any other name that is reasonable and I can remember and, or I'm going to change it back to file right now but it's always good to change this job name to a reasonable name that you can remember and solve your results uh, in that name. If I pick ANSYS batch I see that there are two more inputs available for me Input file is, which is basically a file that has a certain number of uh, certain commands that APDL or ANSYS APDL recognizes to run a simulation, um, and I can pick that by clicking on Browse and finding a typical input file. This would be dat, imp, txt, or any other um, format as long as it's a recognizable ANSYS APDL command line or command set. An output file, which is which typically has the out uh, format, is a text file basically that outputs the progress of a simulation as it's running. You can change that one as well. You can say training.out or whatever you'd like. In the customization preference tab, you can change the amount of memory that you want ANSYS to use. If you don't check this uh, box and if you don't allow or give any memories here, ANSYS will decide how much memory is needed for a typical simulation. And if there are certain commands that you want to run as ANSYS starts, you can click Browse and find a input file or an input file that you want to run as ANSYS starts. I don't have anything uh, specific in here, but high performance computing tab is basically the most interesting part, in my opinion, uh, because here if you have a computer which has multiple cores, if you have a GPU installed on your computer and everything else, you can use them to accelerate your simulation. This computer that I have does not have multiple cores, so these uh, options are disabled for me. So I cannot run, I cannot use cores uh, to accelerate my simulations. But let's say you have a supercomputer with 12 cores or 24 cores. You could enable this uh, tab or option and use as many cores as you want as long as it doesn't exist, ex exceed the number of cores available on your computer. So this window is basically where you can change features for ANSYS and determine how you want to uh, run your simulation. If I go back to ANSYS and click Run, ANSYS will start. Let's try it. 